doing? My name is Eat More Toys, and today we're reviewing a Frank Kozik toy that he made in 2012. Oh, wait, it's, it's this little puppy right here. This is big. This is huge. So, this is called The Gipper. It came out in 2012. <laughs> and um, it's basically Ronald Reagan in a bust. Let me not cut myself here. Kids, ask your parents for help. Let me do it look like this. Anyway, uh, Frank Kozik is already known. He's been in the industry forever. Very talented, very gifted. He's very punk. And this is the Gipper. So let's open it up. Oh, there's gonna be peanuts everywhere. I got this off of eBay, and it's uh, from a company I trust called Painted Visions. They have their online store, but they also have an eBay store, and they really, really do good in packaging and sales. They have a lot of what would be considered now almost. Oh, fudge. <laughs> products. There's so many peanuts. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through this. <sighs> there we go. Come on, push, push. That's a boy. There we go. <sighs> oh, I need a cigarette. All right. Okay. So I don't know where I left off, but let's let's just let's just kick it off right here. So Frank Kozik um, starts collaborating, starts making posters, art posters for musicians, and he gets popular. And then he goes and makes his own record company. Years later, he uh, the story goes, he was buying stuff and looking at stuff on Kid Robot Board. They reached out saying, "Are you Frank Kozik, the guy that makes the posters?" He's like, "Yeah." So they collaborated with him, and he's been collaborating with everybody, making toys left and right. So he's very prolific. He stays busy, and he makes great stuff. It's fun. It's tongue-in-cheek. It's punk rock. It's do-it-yourself. He is awesome in everything he does. As you can tell by these two shelves, I have a lot of his stuff. I don't have all of his stuff. It's impossible. But he is pretty cool. His company, for a while, is called Ultra Violence. And he will make these big toys. So... Let's open this one up. Again, this one's called The Gipper. And it's uh, based on the president from 1981. Ronald Reagan. And I looked up why the nickname The Gipper. Ronald Reagan was an actor at one point. And um, when he ran to become a president, they, uh, they saw a movie about football. And the... Uh, the terminology then was do it for the gip you know win one for the team so i guess that became one of his running um slogans the gip and now the gipper <sighs> oh yeah this is a huge huge box and uh here you can see more of his art so that's huge. Look at that. Ah, these are the kind of boxes you want to keep because you can, you know, cut them and frame them or just keep them somewhere in your house and just show off cool Frank Kozik art because it's really huge. And it's it's really easy to spot his work. He's very fun. And uh, let's open this bad boy up. So this was made in 2012. And he has a lot of editions of this in various colors. He had already made other statues. This stinks. Oh my god. Oh, stinks like freaking socks, dude. And, uh... I don't know if this was in a warehouse or... Or where, where it's about, but... It stinks to high heaven, dude. So when you get a stinky vinyl, you just have to air it out. Air it out as much as you can. Put an extra fan. 
a window and just let it breathe. Cause some of these suckers need to breathe, like the Gamer. And uh, this is Ronald Reagan wearing a Anarchy pin. And if you can tell here on his ear, he has a uh, a safety pin, which is very punk. And he's from the 80s. You know, that's when his term really kicked in. And in classic Frank Kozik style. How does this, how is this supposed to go? Oops, I think I threw that away. Come back here. There's a little, um, little sticky stuff here. I thought it was part of the packaging. It's part of the presentation here. You put it on his nose to cover his eyes. And you say, destroy. So here it is, about 18 inches tall. There is uh, various colors that came out. This is the one I chose. And it's awesome. It definitely looks like the Gip or Ronald Reagan. And it's huge. It's officially a bust. And there is Frank Kozik's signature and it's made of vinyl. It's huge. But boy, oh boy, this thing, it stinks, dude. So, in the same year, 2012, he made the Goon Squad. This is the Havana Slammer based on Fidel Castro. We have the Pyongyang Player. Let me let me take this guy off for a second. Oh, that stinks so bad. The Pyongyang Player based on Kim Jong Il. We have Vladimir Lenin, and this was called Little Lenin or Little Ye Little 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 Ilyach. We got um, DJ Ayahala, and we got the Gipper. So these are all world leaders from a bit of a couple of years ago. And this is the Goon Squad. So they're pretty cool. As you can tell, he's uh, making them have a little party. You got the beer hat. You got him with a party hat and a little thing. You got him wearing an Elvis clothing. And you got him being a DJ with headphones. So, Kozik has always been doing stuff his way. Very signature. Very, I don't care. You're going you're gonna to get what I pump out because I just make cool stuff. And here's him doing him. Political leaders in your home. Making fun of them, but also paying a sort of tribute. So, I have the big Gipper and the little Gipper. Both yellow. How you like me now? That's my tour review. There's not much more to say, man. <clears throat> Frank Kozik, killing it. Kid Robot, killing it. 2012. You know, almost 12 years in the making of me getting this. I finally got it. I'm going to add it to my collection up there. I don't know where it's going to fit. I have no idea. But this sucker needs to air out because it freaking stinks, dude. It stinks. Sorry, man. You stink. That's my review. Peace out.